What's up, everybody? Sorry it's been so long. But, uh, the house purchase is complete. Uh, got that done on Monday the 3rd. It is now Wednesday. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna... We're gonna get this mask off and we're gonna start talking about the new house. So come with me on this wonderful ride. It's a Manslayer garage. Let's get in here. So this is the one side. You can see the doors not insulated very well. It's a big old brick fireplace. This is the entry. Then over here, got the other side. I think I just got some lighting. Some lighting in here. So A4 is in here. There's a fireplace over there in the corner as well. Much bigger than my Colorado Springs garage. The A4 lasted for six months. And then, well, you can't see because the lighting, but trust me, she flat. It literally pulled up in front of the house, and it was half flat. I was like, well, that's that. So this is the original garage, and this is the original exterior wall. And this here was a carport. And... Somebody built the brick in behind it and built this here in in front of it and kind of turned it into like a storage shed. It was the house was sold as a two car garage, but no, that ain't no two car garage. That that's, explains that window there too. That's the that's the one car garage. This was like a carport. They just walled up. Might insulate this area, make it a man cave, but it's cold to the bone right now in here. So, you know, I don't know. It'd be cool, but I'd have to pull this off, hang insulation, close it all up, and get a space heater in here rocking 24 seven. And I'd have to insulate this door off because this garage door is so well insulated. So, yeah, if I could get a new door and insulate it, like an exterior, like an exterior door, put an exterior door here, um, insulate these walls, insulate the ceiling, can make a pretty cool man cave, but it costs a lot of money. Anyway. That's that. All right, here she is. So, this is the new house. Got this nice little walkway light that I like. Here's the front. It's gonna be kind of a short video because I'm actually inside working. Uh, anybody knows my Colorado Springs house knows that's a classic. All right, so we'll go inside. As you can tell, by the intro, um, there's a lot of work to do. Um, it was not my inspection because there was no way of knowing, but the entire basement's full of black mold. So I am basically doing all the demolition, got pretty much all the demolition done and yeah, reassembling. So anyway, living room, everything we pretty much own is either here in the living room, the dining room, utility room in the basement or in the garage. Fireplace. This is a decent sized living room, although I may not look it in the video. You have a closet here, dining. Have a hallway here, bathroom. Nothing special, it's a bathroom. Pink tub. I think the 70s called and they want their tub back. 
of course Trisha got into these rooms so the carpet's brand new it was installed uh, less than two hours ago so that's actually the first time I've stepped on it this is Naomi's room this is a little closet there I don't want to walk on it with my wet boots because it's literally brand new carpet I'm gonna take a couple steps in here this is Mariana's room couple steps here but I don't want to walk too far still gotta take all the masking tape off and this room's big this is probably 14 by 12 it's a uh, Mariana's got, got a dank room um, there's a lot of storage um, here and in the bathroom there was cabinetry here there's another closet here those little bing bongs you could put you know decorative stuff so into the kit or dining room which will take you into the kitchen let's see kitchen you know nothing nothing too special in here it's a kitchen I'm getting a new fridge range I'm putting a microwave up here and um, I'm getting I'm getting a new uh, dishwasher there's nothing wrong with this one it's pretty nice but uh, I'm getting a whole combo deal from Home Depot. It's like $3,000 for everything. And you end up saving like $1,200. There is the garage. Which we'll get out there a little later. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice looking car in the drive there. Yeah. Okay, so. The reason I had the respirator on um, is the black mold. Which is down here. I'm going to put the shirt over my face, and we're going to go through right here real quick. The shirt is over the face. Family room. Utility, which is a really big utility room. I need a washer and dryer as well. I don't have one of them yet. <sighs> Bathroom. Standing shower. Bedroom. Here's some black mold for you. It's all carpet tack. You know the color carpet tack's supposed to be. That color. Not black and coming apart. This is the master bedroom. Large ingress window. Closet. And that's her. Go out the back door real quick. We'll you look around. Yeah, I, I demoed all this. This is all new pad, new carpet we're putting in. Um, pulled all the old carpet out. I hate working in houses. I've been busting my ass. I pulled all these stairs, all the carpet off them. I haven't busted my ass for days, days and days. All right. So here's the driveway. There's the the 300. Sitting pretty. I drove her down in the snow. That was a lot of fun. It's kind of a ghetto carport. Like I mean, just look at the ghetto ness. Like who who do? It's going to take no snow load. This car's going to get crushed. Well, I guess it's been here for a while. So I can't get in the garage because I blocked it with the car. And I can't get in that door because the key to that lock is inside the house. And I don't feel like going back in there and doing that. So I'm just going to take a walk around real quick. Here's kind of a, a shot of the backside. And I think this door, yeah, this door's got a padlock on it. I got some bolt cutters, but I think they're in the house. 
So screw that lock for now. This area here in the back, there's an alley. And that's actually a gate that you can see slides open. So you can actually pull vehicles in here. My sister Sarah wants to move in. I'm thinking she could park her camper right here. She can pull power right out of the garage because my meter and my power runs straight into the garage there. Oh, that's right. I gotta fix the fence. The fence is broken over here. There was almost no snow here uh, yesterday. And now it's just been pounding now. Oh, Trisha's A4 is in the garage actually. Um, uh, rear right tire decided to go flat literally right when we pulled it up in front of the house. What are the chances of that? So uh, yeah this is the side entrance door here which is nice. I am thinking I could stack nine cars. But yeah, so, uh, that's the tour. Trisha and the kids are on their way down. Um, I've got an air, what is it called? An air ionizer? Deionizer? I don't know. One of those things that makes, like, HO3 ozone or whatever. Cleans the air up. I got one of those running downstairs. And, uh... And I got all the windows open, got the heat on, and I got a, got the big space heater, TCR knows about it, that one that we used to have upstairs. I have that downstairs running, and uh, a little ventilation and a lot of heat will get that, uh, get that uh, mold. What I'm doing is I'm getting it all cleaned up now, going down there with vinegar. I'm going to get a vinegar to town. Everyone tells me, oh, use bleach. And then my floor guy tells me, do not use bleach, use vinegar. Vinegar is way better than bleach. Vinegar will kill the, you know. I mean, it's all dry. It's all already dead. But he's like, trust me, use vinegar. So, vinegar it is. Anyway, it's just a quick, dirty video. Uh, I just realized I haven't been doing anything, uploading anything at all. I've had a lot going on in my life last week or so so it's just been go 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 again like about four or five hours of sleep a night so yeah she's been a lot of work but uh it's coming along so anyway uh tried calling you earlier tcr but you're home so you didn't answer <laughs> anyways man i'll uh Get with you sometime, maybe tomorrow. Anyways, everyone, that's the quick and dirty tour of the house. Still got a lot of painting to do. Um, still got some more flooring stuff to do. But getting the carpet in is the big, the big one right now. So, anyways, see you guys later.